I'm Dominic, that's what my parents called me and I'm sticking with it. Also, I brand it that way. I'm running Be Inspired with Dominic, which is my online presence featuring a YouTube channel, Twitter, Instagram and a homepage. I also dabbled in role-playing paper craft supplements and have a known persona who likes to cook weird things and people. These days I'd say I'm a maker. Before that I was a woodworker, before the term became widely popular. And before that, I, before I got a proper woodshop, I made things. So yeah, I guess I've been a maker all along. I also consider myself a YouTuber, or basically someone who tries to inspire others th through their work to, well, to give it meaning properly. And I also like the term inspired, inspired, uh, Sounds like respirator, ins inspirator, well, maker, maker's fine. The last thing I made was a solar system made from OSB, or mainly OSB, which I turned on the lathe and painted as planets. You should watch the video because I already removed it from my shop and I think it's in danger of falling down and breaking if I put it back in here, like so many other things. There was also a cult involved which might have repercussions later. <laughs> but that's... now you're overdoing it. Okay, favorite piece of equipment. Well, I like using a pen on a piece of paper to sketch stuff. There's a, a lot you can do on a computer, but I think I will say the lathe, because in my opinion, it's the one tool where you can make the, the most projects without needing any other tool. Although, of course, you could argue you need turning tools on the lathe. There are things get tricky, but I like how you can take a piece of wood, take it to the lathe and turn it to a bowl, sand it, do inlays and carving and whatnot. You can't do the same on the table saw. You can make great things on a table saw, but you also need something to sand and, well, it's a question of definition and semantics, which is probably also a tool, so I stick with the lathe. I get to keep all my other tools, right? Well, I think it's it's safe to say that my favorite project is usually the next one, the one that I want to get to, but I have to finish the other one, the, the current one, to get the video done and all that. But now that I think about it, more to the point, it's probably the next three projects, because when I'm working on something and planning what to do next, that's always the state where you can pull yourself into and make sketches and think things through and make all those mistakes that come back and bite you in the ass. You're looking forward to doing it. Once you're doing it, it's it's also fun but different. Uh, you probably... I hope you get what I mean. Yeah. Okay, I think my first favorite skill I want to learn is camera placement. Yeah. Other than that, I also try, want to better remember putting this on when doing kind of promotional bits, but well. Seriously though, I want to get into metalworking, or blacksmithing rather. There are some things I, I saw and some things I did doing a basics course in blacksmithing at a local forge. I want to get more into that and set up some kind of small forge situation here near my shop. Well, you'll probably see when that happens. Another thing I want to try is pottery, but I haven't had the chance to dabble in it, so it wouldn't make sense to get a kiln and we don't actually have room for one, so that's a no-starter at the moment. But who knows, maybe there is some kind of community solution around here that we haven't found yet. Oh, okay. So, yeah, camera angles. Thank you to Gil for letting me be part of this awesome series. Check out the other makers, there's a lot of inspiration to be found in this. And I hope I can inspire you too, so check out my YouTube channel, subscribe and 
Let me know what you think, that's the main part. Also, I'm covering up my logo, which is probably not a good idea. Thanks for watching, and as always, remember to be inspired.